Hello and welcome. Today we'll be discussing main idea and details which support it. Summarize informational text. I can determine the main idea of a text using key details. Read the following passage. There are many different kinds of seals, but all have one thing in common, the fish-like body with toes joined together by a web. Anyone who has seen the diving power of a seal and its wonderful way in the water will agree that the flippers of the seal are as useful as the fins of the fish. In fact, the flipper beats the fin for the seal, earns his dinner by chasing and catching fish. He slips through the water with perfect ease and seizes the darting fish in their own home. The seal is nearly always hungry, but so wonderfully quick that his hunting is made easy for him. What is the topic of the passage? What are some facts you learn? Main idea. Finding the main idea is important so that you can easily explain what the passage is about. When you, when you can identify the main idea, you are able to better understand what you are reading. The main idea is sometimes found in the first or last sentence of a passage. Looking at titles, pictures, and repeated words might also help you identify the main idea. Key terms. Main idea. A complete sentence that tells the reader what the passage is mostly about. Key details. Sentences that describe the main idea and bring the passage to life. They are the facts that prove the main idea to be true. Drag the definitions on the left to the correct box. So here we have evidence, we have examples, we have details and facts that support the main idea. We also have a complete sentence that tells the reader what the passage is mostly about. So for my first one here, evidence, examples, details, and facts that support the main idea will go here under key details. And a complete sentence that tells the reader what the passage is mostly about is the main idea. Underlining the main idea in the passage. Here we're discussing um, about Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln is known for being one of the greatest leaders in the history of the United States. As the 16th president, he worked hard to end the conflicts of the Civil War, which lasted from 1861 to 1865. This includes ending slavery and bringing peace to the northern and southern states. The Lincoln Memorial in Washington, D.C. is dedicated to him to honor all the good he did. So, this passage is mainly talking about who? Abraham Lincoln. So, reading the passage together, how do the key details support the main idea? And can you ha highlight the strongest key detail in the passage? So, here... We've underlined the first sentence. Abraham Lincoln is known for being one of the greatest leaders in the history of the United States. That's the strongest key detail in this whole passage. Even though we have details, our main idea, which is Abraham Lincoln, what, what this whole passage is mainly talking about, and then the details that support that is being that he's known for being one of the greatest leaders in the history of the United States. Turn and talk. Read the passage, then discuss the following questions with a partner. 
What is the main idea of the passage? Can you think of a supporting detail that you can add to make the passage stronger? Butterfly wings. Butterflies are known for their unique wings. These wings, which are made up of tiny scales, have intricate patterns. These patterns are symmetrical, meaning they look the same on both sides of the butterfly's body. Not only are the wings beautiful, but they allow the butterfly to camouflage for survival. Write the main idea. Read the passage about the beach. These sentences are all key details. Can you add a sentence that would represent the main idea? Whether you are looking for adventure or relaxation, there is something for everyone to do. Many people enjoy surfing, snorkeling, and looking for seashells. Others would rather sit in the sand reading a book. A complete sentence that tells the reader what the passage is mostly about is called main idea. Said main idea, you are correct. Sentences that describe the main idea and bring the passage to life, they are the facts that prove the main idea to be true. You said key details, you are correct. True or false, the main idea is often found in the middle of the passage. If you said false, you are correct. Looking for repeated words can help you identify the main idea. If you said true, you are correct. What is the main idea of the passage? Helen Keller was born in the 1800s in Alabama. An illness left her both blind and deaf at a young age. In order to communicate, she was sent a teacher from Perkins School for the Blind named Annie Sullivan. Annie Sullivan, Ann Sullivan wrote words on the palm of Keller's hand, such as the word doll and water. Sullivan would then put the object in Keller's hand so she would understand that words represent objects. This ability to communicate grew and eventually Keller became the first blind and deaf woman to graduate from Bachelor's of Arts degree. Helen Keller is an inspiration to people with and without disabilities. So, if you said sentence seven is the main idea of the passage, you are correct. Which sentence is the strongest key detail? You said sentence six, you are correct. Which sentence is not a strong key detail to support the main idea? You said sentence one, you are correct. True or false, Perkins School for the Blind is located in Massachusetts would be a strong supporting detail. If you said false, you are correct. True or false, after college, she became a public speaker and wrote an auto autobiography called The Story of My Life, which outlined her triumphs and struggles, would be a strong key detail. True, that is true. Helen Keller died in 1968 would be a strong key detail. If you said false, that is correct. So what did you learn? 
I can determine the main idea of a text using supporting details. What is a main idea? What is a supporting detail? And how can you identify them in a passage? Main idea and key details. Main idea. Recycling is very important for our planning. Would a partner please write three key details that will support this main idea and be ready to share? So go ahead and do that. Write down some key details that will support this that you just know about recycling. Again, the sentence is recycling is very important for our planet. Main idea and key details. Key details. Bees pollinate most of the crops that feed almost all of the world. The cotton used to make our clothing relies on bee pollination to grow. Animals like herbivores would not be able to survive without bees to pollinate the plants they eat. With a partner, write a sentence that will be a main idea supporting, supported by these three key details and be ready to share. 